take a moment just to say Thank you for the mercy you gave me today You woke me up this morning Let me see another day The way you love me is the reason that I give you praise There's no one worthy of There's none worthy My praise No one love you So I, I will glorify I magnify I give all the I honor, give to, all you. The honor to you you to know he was gone. I found out that they gave him 12 shots of Norcan. He wouldn't wake up. When Ella Bradley come up there, he wasn't woke. But I want you to know prayer changes things. Come on. You hear me? Somebody can yet get a prayer through. My God, on, my now. God, my God. Let our old and I want you to know, Ella Bradley, yeah. I had to come by and let you know. I'm glad you Hallelujah. did. Hallelujah. Hey. Look, they had the respirator breathing for him. Yeah. He wasn't breathing on his own at all. Yeah. But oh, when we got through praying, Ella Bradley, yeah. Yeah. he started breathing on his own. Oh, come on, we must. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Hey. Come on, be glad for somebody. Woo! Be glad for somebody else. All right. That's been your son. That's been you, your daughter. Will you be happy? Hi. Hallelujah. I'm glad. Hallelujah. And I Woo. want you to know, Ella Bradley, they took all the tubes out. They took the oxygen off. He's eating. Hey. He ain't dead. He's going home. I got to go back. He's going home, right? Hallelujah. Come on, come on. That's how you would go. Glory. You ought to be praising God right here. Look what God. to damnation. 
The wrong highway is the demonic highway. That's full of demons. One thing about this life is that in, in spite of all the turmoil and violence and evil that's going on in the world, thank God the sun is still shining. In spite of the turbulent trouble that this world is in, the sun is still shining. Jesus Christ, son of the living God. I, 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 I have to preach about Jesus. Uh, because he is the one, uh, the only one. How many here know what a tiller is? Anybody know what a tiller is? Somebody turn. Mighty are the works of your hands. your earnest prayer. Come on, out of your belly, give them some praise. Give them the fruit of your lips. He's worthy. You know he's worthy. You know he's good. Has he been good to you? Has he brought you out of places that no man could bring you out of? Has he opened doors for you? Now, now I want you to just tell your neighbor, just tell them two things that the Lord has done for you in the last week. Just two things. Come on, come on, come on.
as we were going forth and the spirit of the Lord came in, what dropped in my spirit is we better get ready for some miracles. O-C-E, Mansfield District. Amen. Right. Yes. Oh, get ready, get ready, get ready. God is about to bless us. Do you hear me? Come with the mind. If you need God to do something in your body, if your spirit is down, if the enemy have attacked you, if we going back to the old time way, you best believe the Holy Ghost is going to show up and show out. Hey. Woo, glory. Pray my strength in the Lord. Yeah. being here. I thank God for Superintendent Howard and uh, Pastor Brad, my husband, and uh, Pastor Jordan, Pastor Johnson, and uh, Pastor Ross, and uh, Elder Harris. And I do thank God for the first O.C. East Central rally because I said the Lord must knew what he was doing in the making because we always been a church, sister church, we always fellowship, but then we never knew this was coming to this. Just like I never knew I will be a first lady, always have to get up and be talking. So I thank and praise God for this opportunity because you know he's making me too. So I said we all be in here together because we look good together. And I just said the Lord gonna bless us. God's gonna make it. surely that most saints have fell out of love with one another. Y'all might not say amen, but I, I can tell the way we act towards each other that we ain't in love with them. We can sit there shaking hey, how you see? Smiling and, and kind of shaking in your same mind and same thought. You say, I wish you'd get out my face. That's When you're in love you don't want folk to get out your face. When you're in love with somebody, you want to stay with them. I ain't never seen so many folk be happy when you give the benediction. We just say, well, I ain't going to be low. Oh, hallelujah. Some of y'all want me to hurry up right now and get to the benediction. For what? So you can go out there and fuss and argue with folk? All right. Let's fall in love again. That's what the, that's what the Spirit is kind of tell this district. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to fall in love again. You, how many of you know how what it felt like when you first fell in love? Now note here, fell in love. 
you couldn't help it. If you fall, you just fell. Now, with the Lord in you, if he in you, you're supposed to fall in love. First of all, with God. The Bible where we read the scriptures said that in the latter days, many will love will wax cold. You'll be, you be surprised in the relationship that is in marriages now. Even marriages in families. Husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, dog and cat. How many folk that used to be in love have actually fell out of love and is still living in the same house? The thrill that you used to have when you see them, it's gone. And a lot of things is just come out faking it till you make it. You ain't going to make it when you're faking it. You got to be real with this thing. You got to either love or you don't love because it's going to show up. So we're talking today about these kinds of things. And in our text here, we were talking about what the Lord was saying to the church of Ephesus, he was saying that you've been doing good and you got a great zeal for God and you act like you love God. You're doing a lot of godly things, but I got something against you. I discovered that one thing is a liking. You have left your first love. And I use the word left means fell from it. As the devil who left his first ex-state. He fell from heaven. Amen. Amen. So when you left, don't try to get in technical with me. To, oh, that, that don't mean falling. You can fall from it. So what are you saying here? What the John was put on the aisle called Patmos. And he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And while being in the spirit and while being put on the aisle of Patmos to be destroyed by some wild element beast or whatever, for the preaching of the gospel, instead of him going into a depressing, yes, he went into church, into the spirit of the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. See, when you get down, somebody doing you wrong, you need to get into the spirit. Because yes, yes, when you get in the spirit of the Lord, yes, everybody and everything can't come under that umbrella. Yes, I wish I could preach here. Amen. You can run on a shelter and go whatever you want, run to different folk that you think going to help you. But the best place to run when things going wrong is in the own wax coat. And you don't have the glitter in your eyes for the Lord or for the one that you should be in love with. Can I get me a witness? Thank you, Jesus. We need to understand this here because this is what God is saying to the church of Ephesus. There is a need for repentance. Revelation 2 and 5. The Lord heard this church that if you didn't repent, that he was going to come and remove the candlestick. He said, remember therefore from whence thou hast fallen and be sure to repent and do your first works. Mean go back and start loving again. Go back and fall in love again. Tell the one that you were in love with from the beginning how much you love them and how much that you really need them. Let them know that I just can't make it without you. Can I get me a witness? Yes. You can't make it without God and you need to tell God I need you and I need you in my life. I can't do right till you stay with me. I can't talk right till I get back with you. I can't do right till you get back with me. Say yeah. Yes. And Lord, I want to fall in love with you again. I want to feel the way I feel when I first met you. I remember the day when I first got saved. Say yes, Lord. I felt a feeling I had never had before. I felt brand new. Huh? I didn't have nothing against nobody. I didn't even feel no image of jealousy about nobody. 
All I want to be was to be with the Lord. The Lord satisfied my every need and everything that I thought I needed. Uh, it was in the Lord. Uh, say yeah. I'm so glad that God saved me. Uh-huh. When he did. Uh, when he saved me, he put love in my heart. Uh, the Bible tells me to love my enemy and to love them that despitefully use me. And I learned that I could do that only in the Lord. Uh, only as I love God. Uh, if I love God, uh, I got to love you. Uh, if I don't love God, uh, I won't love you. Uh, if I don't love God, uh, I won't treat you right. Uh, if I don't love God, uh, if I love the love of God, uh, if I love Jesus, I won't treat you right. Uh, say yeah. If I leave God, uh, I won't forgive you. Uh, I won't restore you. Uh, say yeah. But I'm trying to tell you, go back to your first love. Go back and tell them you're sorry. Go back and repent unto them and say, I'm sorry for the wrong I done. I'm sorry for what I said.
Finding God can bring joy when you don't feel like you got none. Finding God will bring peace in your mind when you're living in the midst of confusion. Finding God will put money in your pocket when you ain't got none. Because God still lets you get what you need.